Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. We are trying to attack into Japan. Uh, we're trying a new strategy where we're going to make a really small front line with a lot of people in it. And we're going to try and push through and hopefully help our allies in the US uh, actually move things away. I mean, they're not technically our allies, but um, they'll do. They're close enough. So let's wait till our, ge our general's like, yep, I'm ready for this plan. Then we'll be fine. Ooh, I like I like this. That looks pretty cool. Not entirely sure what's going on, but it looks cool. You ready? Okay. Our general says he's ready. Well, we'll we'll just push into our very small point. 94. It's very close to us actually taking this. Very close. Another option is that we could actually maybe ditch. Um, this front line entirely and try naval invasioning around and just dropping in here possibly or just dropping in slightly behind and that could be possible it does look like the Soviets are pushing in the uh, back here of uh, Japan which is good for us um, if they can get in there they, they kind of break uh, they kind of create a flank which might be working uh, it doesn't look like we're getting through this front line Right, let's cancel all your orders. I want you to head back to Hiroshima. And then I want you, well, basically I want you to go from Hiroshima over here. Uh, no, that's what, that's what I want you to do. Go do that naval invasion plan. Uh, second, Jablana, Jubjano? Award. Anyway, German uh, offers of mediation between Greece and Italy and Bulgaria have been rebuffed by Greece. The Greece government defiantly stating they would rather fight than surrender to jackals and vultures fling to German coattails. We should see if we can help Greece. Yeah, Greece don't really seem like they need much help from uh, Germany, who were here for a very short amount of time. But now they're gone. Uh, support weapons are done. Cool. Uh, what are we going to get next? Uh, night vision? Land night attacks, maybe? Yeah. Um, infantry anti-tank? Yeah, infantry anti-tank. That sounds like something we could get. You guys... Yeah, you're moving. Good. Don't know why you took that particular route back, but whatever. That works, I suppose. I kind of expected the route they take back to be that route across flat land, but whatever. They want to take this route, they can take this route. We still have a couple of units that haven't quite worked out they need to retreat yet. Right, cruiser effort is done. Cool, we'll go for the next one, which is capital ship, eh, capital ship effort. There's really not much point to that anymore, but it's just increasing our research speed on general things. All of you should be over here. You're not allowed to retreat here. Ah, okay, so they just can't retreat yet. And then we'll get this going. And move over. I'd like you to go. Go with the plan. Uh, go. Some divisions are not assigned. I've not reached the start position yet. Okay. You're all going to be unassigned. Because you can't figure out how to retreat. There we go. Naval invasion is a go. What's your problem? All units that are assigned have reached the position. You moving? Uh, there are no units assigned to... No, I don't understand. There are no units assigned to this order. Oh, okay. Um, control right click. Stay where you are. We're only allowed 10. Oh, okay. Split the unit in half, select these 10, send them to the order. Ready to go? Okay, unassign all these guys. 
Yeah, it's got like a million rules for naval invasions. That's fine. I'll do two new two naval invasions. That works. Cool. Get all of them gone. Ten. Please be assigned. You ready? There are no units assigned to this order. But you be assigned to the order. Did it work? Oh, it's only going to take him 70 days. Yeah, that worked. Um, let's now get what's remaining of these units. The Soviets are going to have taken over all of Japan before we even work it out. You're going to be new army. You're going to be led by this guy. Now, you're going to do the front line plan. We're going to create a very small front line and a very small offensive line. Let's see how that goes. Cool. That's pretty much what I'm after here. Yep, Soviets are already getting into Japan. They're blocking off supply lines. It's all good. How long till this uh, invasion? Oh, we just need uh, another 50 days. 40 days. No problem. We lack sufficient intel to dare send an invasion through. Assign more navies or air wings on missions or cover the area of radar. Wait, we can assign air wings to this mission? Um, so say I had a whole bunch of air wings all over here. I say I want you assigned to this mission. Did that work? Um... Are you okay with that now? I don't know. Whatever. It might work, it might not work. We'll see how it goes. It doesn't really matter either way for us. Uh, well this guy says he's ready to go on the other side, so... We'll just tell them to start doing their invasion. Like their push forward. We'll see which one goes first. The uh, land push or the naval push? Right. Uh, Soviets are in a bad place. They are trapped in their... Uh, in a hole here. Okay. Maybe it would have been better to just start off in the Soviet territory and just try and do a naval invasion at the top here. Maybe. Okay. Still another 30 days. Okay. Once we get over here, all we want to do is create just a line. Okay, cool. How much else to really be thinking about? We got any lines near done here? We do have a few guys who are nearly done. We'll just uh, pop you out. Um, there we go. The last one in Aragon. He gets assigned directly to this division. All the rest get assigned to that division. Good. I think that's all of them. Back over here. Back to our naval invasion that may or may not happen. Because we don't have enough convoys, apparently. Um, yep. Pretty much. Uh, do we... Is there like a production line for convoys? There indeed is a production line for convoys. Cool. Well, go push that up. Uh, we need these a lot more than we need battleships. So we're actually going to get rid of all of our battleship and all of our submarine production. Put it all into convoys. We actually still have some left. We'll put it back into battleships. There we are. So we should be producing a lot of convoys now. We should be able to come and help this uh, invasion. As we produce uh, six a week, which isn't too bad. Right. Uh, yeah. And that should mean that that fills up a little bit. Another 18 days till the invasion. Our push still isn't really doing anything here. Alright. Lots of things aren't really going anywhere. Um, how long till various things? Uh, next level of military police is actually going to be soon, which gives us just more bonuses. Nuclear bombs are going to take a while. Um, yeah, not much else. Just kind of uh, chill out and wait. Are we do looking on our production lines? 
So we've actually filled all that need. We've still not done anything with those. We've not done anything with that one. And in construction, we're basically still repairing everything. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, should we not repair the civilian factories first? Yeah. We should probably repair our factories first so that we can actually then repair everything else. That makes a lot of sense. Just a ton of sense. Anyway. Cool. How long till our invasion? Our invasion is in six days. Cool. We don't quite have the convoys, but we'll see if it'll let us uh, do it without all the convoys we need. Not a great plan, but it should be fine. Three days. Two days. Continuing to wait for convoy to happen. One day. And we're ready to go, but we don't have enough convoys. But go anyway. Nope. Oh. Don't have enough convoys. Need to wait for more convoys. That's fine. They're actually building up fairly quickly. We have five more convoys and we can just go. That'll be good. And our plan basically in this thing here is to just walk down here and cut off this army entirely. Just create a line. Then we can kind of join together our front lines. Okay. Do you have enough people yet? Two more convoys and we can go. Capital ship effort is done. Uh, go for submarines. We're almost done our entire focus tree. And then one more convoy. We're ready. Go. Uh, cover the area of radar. Sign more navies or air wings on missions. Cover the area of radar. Um, like, could we go for all of our navies here? We currently have assigned. Can we assign them? Like all also go here, and then um, we'll select our what's it called? And then we'll select our air things. Uh, with that one. You're already in the Sea of Japan, so that's fine. Yeah, he's, they're going. They're finally going. They believe we have enough intel. No go. Trust me, you can do it. We were doing it just a second ago. Divisions are not in position. Minus 15%. Okay. What divisions are not in position? Oh. They're, no, they're going. They're going. Okay. Military police are done. Research is finished. And we have almost very close. Now we landed. Cool. That's perfect. Let's get our research slot. Fill it with, I don't know, uh, we're using engineers, we'll get the next level of engineer. Uh, I want you guys, I want your front line to be there, and I want your offensive line to be, well, to be this, pretty much. And uh, go for it, when you're ready, just tell me, oh, you're ready, good, go for it. And that's all I want them to push in for, let's see if they move. You guys ready to go? Seems to be spending an awful lot of time preparing here. There are no units causing you problems. Go for it. Mm, okay, well at least they are moving now. It's gonna take them a lot of days, but they will get there. I don't know. AI is sometimes a little bit weird. It's not very clear about what it's doing. It's probably doing things sensibly. It's just not clear about what it's doing to me. Okay. We finished our concentrated infantry. Let's get um, let's get our research. Let's get our production cap up. Uh, okay. So they're pushing into us, but that's fine. We're already moving over here to take their uh, their little bit of land. There are your orders. Your new front line is that, and your new offensive line is that. Cool. And you're ready to go. Go. Just do it whenever you uh, feel that you can. I don't really want to have to manually control these units. They seem to be really not wanting to move. 
at all. Um, there we are. Oh, you're just being pushed in on. It's not quite the same thing as moving. Uh, we're almost pushing in down here. Uh, oh, and our, our, our army's just lost. They just actually just killed us. Okay, cool. Um, that, was, that was an interesting experiment. We'll never do that again. Okay, um, still waiting to get men actually over here. Ah, uh, we, oh, we only got to 94. If we can get to 100 and push them out off and get rid of their entrenchment bonus, we'll be uh, laughing. Switzerland has joined the Allies. Okay. Seems a bit late at this point. Oh, good. Who's pushed up here? The Netherlands. Fantastic. You've actually figured it out. You figured out to push in. You'll be part of the Allies, won't you, Netherlands? Uh, you are quite definitely part of the Allies. Yeah. Well, that's good. We got 96%. 97. All oh, right, we might actually be able to push them. Because once we get rid of their entrenchment bonus, everything just goes brilliantly. Uh, we also have so many convoys, it's unbelievable. But anyway, 98. Oh, we're almost there. 99. There we go. We're pushing forward. That's all that matters. More importantly, the US are pushing. Push it's actually the US who are pushing forward, not really us. So that's fine. We're sharing their front line. Um. Offensive line being that, uh, go for it. Right, we'll see how that goes. It should be fine. Like, we have pushed them back, so we've actually got a little bit of presence. And with the Netherlands causing them trouble up north, they're going to have to send some people to deal with that. Nice that the Soviets actually put some effort into this, but whatever. I guess they don't really care about the war ending. They've pretty much got everything they could ever want, ever. Um, yeah, Japan are still... Yeah, they're thinking about it. Not really 100% into the surrender thing, but... They might eventually. You know, you can join in with these attacks. It's not against the rules. Um, yeah, let's improve our ground support. Then we'll get our... C group, or a flighty group, whatever the planes, send them over there. Uh, do we have planes anywhere else? No. Uh, all of you guys, you're all doing what you should be doing. Right. Um, just go attack for me, would you? Yeah. Good. Sometimes just manually controlling it helps a little bit. 97, 98, 99. Perfect. Uh, now, guys, I want you to push forward into the next province. Yeah, you get the idea. 97, 98. Pushed back. 97, 98, 99. Push them back. Right. Now, I want you to completely screw over this unit here. We're not allowed to retreat here. I didn't think we were retreating. I thought we were just going to walk here and flank them. And hopefully destroy it all hope that they have of actually getting out of this alive. Okay. 97, 98, 99, and we're pushed the problem. There we go. That's what we're after. Now we can push into the last bit that we've got. All of our units. You should all probably... All armies that won't have divisions will be automatically removed and all orders will be lost. Uh, no. I do just kind of want you to be assigned to that. You're already in that division. Go. Cool. Uh, you should have a new leader. You should have the level 7 general. Definitely. There we go. That's going a little bit better. Push your way in, and we have gotten rid of a whole bunch of the stuff that they had going. 
Cancel your orders. Cancel your orders. Wait. Army. Walk over here. Get that small island. It is uh, complete micromanagement going on here right now. But we should get Japan in the next episode. And we're ending this one here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.